Hey, Dustin from D3 Imagery here. If you're an A6000 shooter like I am, you're likely into both stills and video. And you expect your lenses for your A6300 or your A6500 to perform really well for both stills and video. And if you know anything about the famed 30 millimeter Sigma F1.4, you know it's one of the absolute sharpest lenses that you can get. And it also comes with a couple of concerns. If you read any reviews or you've um, you know, handled it yourself or maybe you own it, it's well known for having a few manual focus issues, which you can see demonstrated in uh, this video that I shot earlier. However, Sigma just released within the past few days a new firmware for their 30 millimeter f1.4, which is supposed to, quote, improve feeling of the manual focus operation of the lens. And that got me thinking. You see, I've used this lens in the past. I've rented it for wedding films and I was impressed with its low light ability. I was incredibly impressed with its image quality, but I was less than impressed with uh, manual focus poles, which is something you want to do when you're shooting video. And because of this, I decided to pick up the 35 millimeter Sony F1.8 instead, but it kind of felt like I was settling for second best. So with the new firmware announced by Sigma, I promptly picked up a used one from Adorama, which I'm really happy with their service and also with the product they sent me, um, and created this video for you, just a quick demonstration of the difference between old firmware and the latest release of Sigma's firmware for the 30 millimeter F1.4. So check this out. Let me show you what kind of improvements you're gonna see. Updating the firmware for your Sigma 30mm is very easy, by the way. Simply follow the link that I have in the description, download the updater, and while that's downloading, go to your Sony A6000 series camera, and make sure the USB connection is set to mass storage. Also, be sure to remove any SD card you have in the camera. Back on the computer, open the updater, then connect your camera to the computer using the micro USB port on the camera. The software will search for and connect to your camera. Allow a moment for this. When that's done, click the next button. The update will take place and finish within a few seconds. When that's all complete, remove your battery, disconnect the camera, and enjoy your much improved manual focus ability. So there you have it, a very marked improvement between the old firmware on the Sigma 30mm f1.4 and the latest released firmware as of um, late February, early March 2018. So what am I going to do with my uh, Sony 35 f1.8? This lens has served me well. I'm not going to say it's a bad lens. I've created uh, videos that have made national and international news with this lens. It's good enough, but I'll be selling it because the Sigma is better. And not only is it better, but it works now. So if you've been holding off on the Sigma 30 for any reason related to its focusing, particularly manual focusing performance, it's a great time to pick one up and I highly recommend it. As you can see from the video earlier, it's a huge improvement between uh, the old and the new firmware. So I hope this video helped you out. I hope uh, if you were looking up this particular lens and issue that I was able to give you some good information that you can use when making your purchase decisions later on. Again, this is Dustin from D3 Imagery. Thanks for liking and following and uh, y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.